Hi guys, welcome to my ISO builder here. This video is about left WM and it's gonna be the newest, the latest left WM, Tiling Winner Manager, a new desktop to explore. It's a beautiful desktop. Lots of theming is possible. There are several ways to actually go about this, right? We have ISOs you can download. There is also the Arclix D. Uh, so in many ways, there's an Arclix Tweak tool. And in the website arclixd.com, we have these phases spinned out here or set out here. And it's all explained here in the Arclix University, our learning curve, the learning path. If you start too soon, with something too difficult, you just say, I'll stick to Windows. That would be pity because Linux is great. It's it's versatile, it's flexible. All kinds of things can be done with it. As long as you just take it slowly, step by step. I always say, take baby steps, right? I apply it to myself, right? So phase one, XFCE, phase two and so on. Phase three, different things, things that you do not see very often in the big distributions out there. Tiling winner managers for one. And left WM is here. So the only thing we've had have written until now is how do you install? Later on we'll learn more about how to theme it, tweak it, the configurations and so on. So if you take this one for example, it will contain all kinds of things, questions that people ask sure surely gonna ask for for gaps or, or coloring and stuff like that so it's all already covered in here all already covered plasma for example is a, a big guy lots of articles have been written already about it 28 but more because not all of them are numbered as you see 57 here 55 56 so lots of articles thing is let's go to left wm and tell you how could you do it? How could you install such a nice looking desktop? Tiling Winner Manager. Option one, install the desktop using Calamars. Click. It's just a click. Decide to have SDM, all right? SDM is the default, or LightDM or GDM. And then you got yourself an Arclix DI. So that's what we start here with, right? Arclix D. Install the desktop using Calamars. Now, in the meantime, we've, we've, we've grown so versatile that you can install left WM from any ISO. Calamars is super versatile. You can actually say, I'll do a combo, download Arclinx B Plasma, in Calamars select left WM, et voila, right? So it, it's, it's quite, um, uh, diverse really lots of choices lots of freedom which gives some users more complexity of course option two install the desktop using our scripts going with Arclinux D is a great idea but it might be too soon Arclinux D is the most bare the most close to the Arch Linux ISO we only give more of eight packages or nine packages of Arclinux, Xorg, and that's it. That's that's what's surplus, what's extra compared with the Arch Linux ISO. So option two is the most difficult one, and that's the one we're gonna do now, right? Arclinux B has already been documented. You'll find the video on Arclinux B website and ATT will be documented later on. So option two, scroll down. Option two is saying, let's install the desktop with scripts, install the Arclinx D ISO without selecting the display manager or the desktop in Calamaris. Nothing selected. So basically it's called the base installation. And I see I've written a text here that's not there at this point in time. So pause recording gonna change that there voila changed so choose base installation what are they talking about and some more things here okay let's go super f7 virtual box is launched arclinx d is in there just built it to today you can build it as well today it's the arclinx b website that's where the info is you boot it up 
And the point of this video, I'll show both of them. There are two calamari systems, a simple one, like a bare one, a base one, and an advanced one, a complex one with lots of freedom and flexibility. And we're gonna use the base one, which is, comes very close to an arch link installation, or if you remember back in the days, the antithetical space, that's it, black screen, you type your commands. Pseudo Pacman minus S, XFC4, XFC4 goodies, you got XFCE. So those are the two options. I, I love the base installation because this gives you lots of freedom. You just type what you like, add what you like gradually over time, change configs and all that. It's your thing. And um, that's the fun of it, the learning, right? But it's not for the beginner. It's not for the guy that comes from Windows to Linux. That would be a terrible idea. So that's the base installation. Advanced installation is, is simple. It's in any of our ISOs, you can actually decide somewhere down the line to say, look, I wanna have this desktop and that desktop and that's, it's just a click away and you've got yourself a desktop. Okay, so not, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make the most difficult installation possible on Arch Linux, base installation. Then we have the version number for later on and American language, we've chosen our language, of course, right? Next, Brussels, cool, otherwise pinpointed somewhere else. Pin it on the correct place. And then we have Azerti keyboard for myself. Next, erase disk, choose, swap, no swap. Less than four gigabytes uh, to take a swap, right? And um, well, it's, it's, it's personal. You'll see lots of uh, diversity of opinions, right? But swap no hibernate if you want to hibernate yes okay sure and you choose right here and x4 you choose but this is good if you have enough memory then you don't need swap you'll see that later on right if you need more or less so this thing is gonna install packages on your future system. So the operating system is now unpacked or unsquashed. And maybe you're wondering what is unsquashed? You didn't select anything, right? But did not select, it's like in the advanced option, you tell him to get SDM, you tell him to install Firefox, you tell him to etc. etc. So this is something. It is practically probably Hmm, 99% or 98% maybe Arch Linux and a few packages are coming from Arch Linux and that's it, right? So things to, but the, it's even not true at this point in time because this is the live environment. We get rid of a lot of stuff that you see now here. We don't need stuff later on for the Calamaris anymore. That's the installer, right? So lots of things get removed here the face around 70 80 percent but anyway it's something right to show people look this are these are the packages and these are on the live environment and we clean up everything afterwards after the installation a lot of stuff from calamars can go again so it's a very clean base installation later on let's wait for the installation all right, the installation is finished. So we reboot, we're in VirtualBox, which means I did not pop out the USB. So we see again this, so we boot to existing OS. This is what you see. And then, well, it is when you are a bias, it's EFI, it's gonna be black. So there you are. This is, it even says so, Arch Linux 5.14.9, right? This is Arch Linux look, it's black, it's up to you. What do you type? You type something, I and mean, we're talking about left LVM. If we were talking about Mate, we'd be ty typing something like pseudo pacman minus S, Mate, or deeping, deeping extra, XFCE, plasma, right? So it really is knowledge, and it's the Arch Wiki that we follow. Arch Wiki, and then the desktop you want to explore. Now, 
at some point in time, it's tedious to type again and again and again and again. All these applications, all these Lego blocks, you need to have another desktop again, right? So you create scripts, a script that says sudo pacman minus s xfce, sudo pacman minus s firefox, sudo pacman minus s gimp, etc. etc. So we've done something similar. So why not use our work and go clone this, copy paste this, put it on your own GitHub and change it. So this is our code that you can change, no problem. Arcmix D, Arco something, Arco left WM, Arco Mate, Arco Plasma, Arco Ukui, Arco Cutefish, right? Anything goes, get it in, left WM, enter. You get our code in and the code looks like ls, a folder, go inside the folder, voila, ls, green stuff, meaning you can run it. Those are stuff, ls or ll, we have ll as a shortcut and alias. x, it says somewhere, you see, x, 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 which means executable. We can run these things. And that's what we'll do. Just start running the numbers. 100, 110, that's our stuff, our development stuff. Do we want sound? Do we want to hear the music? No, okay, no sound. Do you want Bluetooth, you want printer, Samba, laptop, you see, all the list is there. So let's just run number 100 and see what we get already, then reboot and so on. Maybe that's a thing you can do. Now it's, 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 it's loading up, right? You, you can't even read it so fast, depends on the internet, depends on your PC, how fast it goes. But well, we're almost done. And um, then we need to reboot basically. So reboot your system, they say. You now have a very minimal functional desktop. It depends, right? 25 desktop, what's functional, what's minimal? So anyway, if you wanna see what's happening to your machine maybe i can do a cat right cat and then 100 but this is not nice i think it's better to see at this on a different machine or the computer screen and go and have a look what's in there but we can read the top we'll install sedm arcnix wallpapers kit tunar tunar archive plugin and so on so a long list of all the packages lego blocks that we need to have left WM. And there's so much more. All the other scripts, right? Which I'm not going to run. All the other scripts contain the same things. Software Arch Linux, software from the Arch Linux third party, software from the Arch Linux extra large, like WPS is there. And one of the, the editors, well, the, the offices, right? So, anyway, I'm going to have a look after running 100. What do we have? What do we get already? Go to boot existing OS. And this is your left WM, as the DM has been installed and all that. Okay, a new look, right? This is SDM, simplicity theme. We log in, there you go. You got yourself left WM. Control Alt or Control T or Super T or Control T or Super Shift Enter or etc. etc. You need to learn to navigate inside this extra tiling window manager. And maybe one step before is installing Arclix B, left WM. There you will see that there are keyboard shortcuts, right? There are ways, as often in the dot config, but not always, right? You'll find the technical bits and pieces of left WM. This is it. This contains all the desktop needs to know to function. So there you go. You've got yourself a left WM. No sound, no Bluetooth, no printers, right? It's a very minimal thing. Look at the memory. Some people like this, love this. I don't know, I don't care. 32 gigabytes, I don't care about any of these things. But there you go. We have this minimal version of a desktop. Still lots of things to do because that's the Arclix D, right? The B it's themed, it's finished product. Arctic D is you build it up yourself. You check out why is your XVT not looking like this because you don't have the configuration of your XVT.
the X resources. It's knowledge. It's not for the beginner. It's for the more advanced kind of Linux user. All right, I found with Alex Linux D, scripts, copy paste scripts, change the scripts, rerun the scripts after for a clean installation and stay really in control. If that's your thing, many things, many choices, right? Alex Linux uh, B, you can go for the ATT, it's all good. Cheers.